Um, so I want to talk about the importance of actually having a prayer journal. And this is a prayer journal that I actually had years ago. Um, I actually love this one. I wish I could probably find me a new one. I probably need to look for one. Um, but literally, the very first entry date in this one is March 30th, 2017. So hopefully you can see that. It's March 30th, 2017. And I don't even know what I talked about. Uh, I was talking, it was a Sunday, and I was talking about what Pastor preached about. He preached about unanswered prayers. And then I talk about my prayer life. I feel my prayer life has certainly been expanded, and I pray often. One uh, was that the one who says the prayer now becomes the tool to answer the prayer. And I still remember that to, to this day. Um, and as I reflect on this principle, I pray that God will use me to help bring others to Christ, not through tragedy, because you have to be specific. Um, I, I believe you have to be specific. Um, so I don't want to have to bring people together just because there's been a tragic event. I want to, I, I specified, I want to be able to bring people to Christ, but not through a tragedy. Um, but from an outward obedience and love for him. I pray that as I become successful in my new business ventures, that others are encouraged to step out on faith and trust and believe that through Christ, all things are possible. Lord God, I thank you for my free spirit and thank you for my family, friends, church family. And I go on about how I love the Lord and all this good stuff. That was March 30th, 2017. There was a couple things going on around this time. I had launched Peace in or Pharmacy Synergistics at the time and we're waiting on clients. Okay. Um, also, I'm somewhere up in this time frame, starting to do uh, Armando Montalongo's Flip This House. Okay, so I, I took all my money out of my 401k. I had a bonus check come in sometime in that, probably already had it because this was March 30th. Anyways, um, took that money and we're flipping houses, okay? And so it gets pretty dark um, as I go through this journal because as we'll talk about in several videos, uh, the house flipping business was up and down rocky. Part of that was my fault. Um, but the there was times where there was no money, okay? Um, like zero money. Like I've pawned my wedding jewelry because I'm divorced. Uh, I've pawned wedding jewelry to pay the electrician. I did get it back um, because I've pawned it probably two or three times. I still have my wedding jewelry, but during that time and that season in my life, I pawned it to pay the electrician for some of these houses that we were flipping. So the one I want to talk about today is the one I wrote November the 26th, 2018 at 8.20 in the morning. It says, Heavenly Father, I had to write down a prayer of favor before heading to this 9 o'clock meeting. I pray that you give me the right words to say and that they are received according to your will. Today is a big day, a 300000 um, per year, three-year contract on the line, and I am asking for your favor. Help me today to deliver uh, what you have for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So that was my prayer before I was going in to um, solidify our very first client. And mind you, at this time, um, our business, we only, we started our business with $3,000, $1,000 from each person. Um, and we were down to probably about 300 and some odd dollars in the bank when this occurred. Um, I also had to quit my job, uh, the PRN job or part-time job I had at the CVS uh, right before I took this meeting because they said that my business was a conflict of interest with me being a pharmacist. Okay, we'll talk about that another time. But anyways, I ended up quitting. And then I had to go and do this meeting. So, <laughs> um, November 26th, I'm praying about the meeting that I got to go to. Back of the book, they have a um, prayer request and answered prayers. And so, answered prayer on 12-28-18 at 9.40 a.m., I received an email from X, um, who was an executive at the client that I was getting this contract that he was engaging our services for 2019. So the contract that I prayed to the Lord about um, actually came to fruition. And that was a week, um, I mean a month and two days later. So from 1127 to 1228. And then I put, I'm too thrilled right now. Lord, I expected a miracle and you delivered. And I am still in awe because it feels so great. Reflecting over the year till now, I am just overjoyed. Lord, I thank you and I love you so much. Thank you, God. So that was December 28th, 18, uh, 2018. So I put that out there just to say it's important to have a, a prayer journal. And the reason why it's important to have a prayer journal is because guess what? 
that when that contract came through, that was not the end of it. Okay, that was not the end of all my troubles. That was not the end of all my worries. Um, it was a it was a great start. It was a huge miracle, and it's what propelled us to where we are now. But just because that one miracle came in, didn't mean everything was resolved. The next three years was a doozy, um, and I'll share some of that insight on here. Uh, but the whole point of it is. As we're still in that storm, still going through that storm, those other challenges that came, it's important to go back and reflect on what the Lord has done for you. You know, you can go to the you can go to the Bible and you can actually see the blessings that the Lord has done in there. You can hear other people's testimonies from church. You can hear other people's testimonies from social media about how the Lord delivered them and how the whole, and how the Lord blessed them. You can hear that and and it can be encouraging to you and it should be encouraging to you because your story is not a story and a testimony for just you. Your story and what you've been through and how the Lord's blessed you is to be shared so that it can encourage somebody else. But what I can tell you, y'all, it is a whole nother ball game and a whole nother reassurance and a whole nother story when you've got your own prayer bank, you've got your own prayer journal where you have written down things and you have asked the Lord for something and then to go back and see that he actually answered that prayer. So you have your own faith evidence right here, the evidence that he's done it for you before. And guess what? He'll do it for you again. If he made a way then, he'll make a way again. So it's very important that you have a prayer journal, in my opinion, if you don't have one. It doesn't have to be a true prayer journal. It, as you can see in some um, later videos, I'll show you some other um, journals I have. And they're not specifically prayer journals, they're journals. But guess what? I write prayers in them. Um, I've got prayers that I've written for people. Uh, all that kind of stuff. And then how the Lord has answered those prayers. So um, again, just want you to know the importance of a prayer journal. I want to go through my prayer journal and look at some other things that the Lord has done for me and share it with you all. Um, and just so that my story again can be a testimony because I can tell you 2018, 19, 20, those were some very difficult years. Um, there's some stuff that happened in 21, 22, not COVID related. Our business actually flourished during COVID. So that wasn't a big deal. Um, but you know, even that contract sounds like a lot of money. Um, but what you have to realize is an entrepreneur, there's a lot of overhead costs. Um, and so I, and we'll get into this. I don't want to give too much information now, uh, but literally my salary, cause you, I pay myself and my partners, we pay ourselves as an employee, um, was literally only a third of what it was when I left corporate America. And there was some times where I was the only one getting paid, uh, because I was having to do the actual work myself and we couldn't afford to pay everybody and get the business going. Um, and so it wasn't until January 1 of this year, 2024, that I'm actually back at my original salary that I had when I left corporate America. Uh, so I say all that to say entrepreneurship is great, um, I had, you, but you, you're going to have to put your time in. You're going to have to nurture relationships. You're going to have to possibly um, take salary cuts, take cuts in your finances. You're going to have to do some budget changes. You're going to have to live off a less maybe. Um, and these are just things that I went through. This may not be the case for everybody, um, but I did have to put the work in uh, me and my uh, business partners. We had to do the time uh, and now it's paying off. But just to go back and look through this prayer journal to actually see what the Lord has done for me, to see how he brought me to the other side. And I would be lying if I said it didn't get so tough where I didn't think I was going to make it. And it wasn't the fact that I didn't think that the Lord was going to bless me and that there was going to be another side. I just got tired of waiting. Um, and we'll explore that because that's a that's a whole nugget and module within itself. It's not that you don't believe. It's not that you're not 100% convinced. It's the fact that I want it now or... I'm three years in, why has it not happened? I'm four years in, why has it not happened? I'm five years in, why has it not happened? So you just get tired of waiting, not necessarily that you don't know that you're going to actually get to the other side. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, it, and, and hopefully you're going out and you're getting your prayer journal uh, because it is very important. Even the Holy Bible app, they have a nice uh, prayer request section in there. So I have prayers in there. I've got prayers everywhere, y'all. Uh, so sprinkle them out, put them around, and, and remember to go back 
and look and answer and put those answers to those prayers. And sometimes the answer to the prayers are no. Okay. So we'll talk about that because I've got some stuff in here that I've asked the Lord for and it, and it was a no. And now hindsight, I'm glad it was, it was a no. All right. So that was all I have today. It's all about the prayer journal. Get yourself a prayer journal. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when these videos go up.